Hi everyone, this is a bit of a different video, but um, recently I noticed some people have been asking, how do you play Battle Revolution? So I figured I'm gonna make a tutorial on how you can play Battle Revolution, like how I play it. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download Dolphin Emulator. Uh, this emulates GameCube and Wii game. It's pretty fire. It was going to be on Steam, but you download this, uh, and all the links are going to be in the description, so you just follow along. Then you're going to go to ROMs Games. This is where you find all these ROMs uh, for the games. So since we're going for Bow Revolution, we're going to click on Wii, and then we're going to scroll till we find it. You can also just search it, but it's right here, so it doesn't matter. So you're going to you're going to click it, and you're going to hit Save Game. I already have it, so I'm not going to hit save game. But basically what's going to happen is you're going to download a compressed folder that has the actual ROM in it. So once you download that, you're going to go into this site where you're going to unzip the compressed folder. And that's going to give you the ROM. So now you have Dolphin Emulator and you have your ROM. You want to go into your Dolphin Emulator folder and you want to make a game folder so it's easy easy to find where all your games are and it uses it when you load it up so now you have your game right let me open it up let me open up my dolphin yeah so you have your games see all my games right here because it tracks this so everything that's here all these games here are right here Disk, disk image file, VBFS file, all these games here are right here. So then, another part of Battle Revolution is importing the Pokemon, making the Pokemon. And that's where PK Hex comes in. And PK Hex lets you make any Pokemon. You just create your Pokemon and just import them. I'll, I'll launch it up right here. See right here it's already it's already going for Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet. So you can do this for like any of the Pokemon games. But I'm gonna open up my save file right here. Follow this right here and you, you should probably find your file. So Pokemon by Revolution save data. I also have a backup thing. That's right here. Has all my backup files for when I uh, save it and whatnot. See how it was, it was yesterday. I used it yesterday to uh, make another one. So I'm gonna open it. You see all my Pokemon are here. All the Pokemon I've created are right here. And just to prove that it works, prove that it works. I'm just gonna find a random Pokemon. doesn't matter. I use Bagon. And then when I'm making the movesets, I use Smog on here. So I search it by Diamond and Pearl. So it'll come up with the Gen 4 uh, for the Pokemon. So I typed Bagon. So here's Bagon. You see, here's its Ruby Sapphire. And then it'll be its moveset for that. But then I have it for Diamond and Pearl. So it's going to come up with movesets that these Pokemon use during that generation. So I'm just going to copy this moveset because I want my good. So level 5. It's holding a choice scarf or choice band. So I'll just type choice band. Rockhead. And you can change the nature. Naive nature. I'm using the arrow keys just to change it. When you type to find the nature, it kind of messes it up. So you should probably just use your arrow keys going up and down. To try to find it. There you go. Naive nature. Then type in the moves. Outrage. When you, as you type in the move, it comes up. Yeah, type in fire, fire blast, fire fang, fire punch, fire spin. But we want fire fang. Dragon Claw. 
and then brick break. So that'll be the moves. And you have the EVs down here, you can change them right here. So this one has 196 speed, 36 special attack, so we should put on hydro pump since we have extra special attack, 40 defense, and 236. So those are the EVs, and then you have the IVs. You know, to change those, you put like 30s, 31s. I just like to put all 30s across. And then right click here, click set. So now the Bagon that I just made is right there. So I'm going to file, I'm going to export. And then I'm going to hit save. I'm just going to say that this file already exists. Are you sure you want to place it? Yes. I'm going to replace it. So now, to prove that it works, I'm going to go into Battle Revolution right here. And before I do that, I want to show that you can change. You change like the graphic settings and everything. I have a higher resolution on the uh, on the game, so everything like looks nicer. You can also change the controls. For Battle Revolution, you only use um, you only just click, like you only use two buttons. So for A, make it left click, and for B, make it right click. So I'm gonna launch the game. One scheme and show that the bag on that I just made is gonna be there. You can also make save files, bunch of save states, make, 10. make save states and whatnot. Oh, that is loud. So I'm just gonna click save files in red. Coliseum mode. Continue. This is my main save file. This is the one I want to use. So I'm gonna load it up. And you can see the game looks really nice with this high resolution. So I'm gonna click right here. Battle pass. I'm just gonna go on a random battle pass. Go to storage. Now you can see these are where all the Pokemon are. And the bag on that I created earlier is right here. It's gonna have the same moves Outrage, Fire Fang, Dragon Claw, Hydro Bump. Same moves, same ability, everything. And then you just do that with all the Pokemon you want until you have a full, full uh, boxes of them. And you can't do them anymore. And the an easy way to find your Pokemon is you wanna hit this search. And then go to type. And so I want a nice type. And then it'll come up with all the ice types that you currently have in your PC box. And that's pretty much the basics. Uh, you move move the cursor around with your mouse. Right click is B, left click is A. You need to check your storage. We already saw all my Pokemon are here. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much that's how you set it up. So everything's going to be linked in the description. So just follow along with all of this, and you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. Yeah, have a good one.